Hey everyone, today I have a tutorial on setting up Notebook Llama on Vast AI. To kick things off, I just want to make sure that we pick the latest PyTorch image. Now we're going to find a GPU. I'm going to do price increasing and just scroll down until I find a card with at least like 30-ish gigs of uh, RAM. I think the first one's usually the A40. Isn't there a cheaper? Yeah, the A40. Sweet, so we're gonna rent that one. Created the instance. Now it's gonna take a little while for this to spin up. All right, we have our instance up and running. We're gonna go ahead and click on this button right here to connect directly via Jupyter. It's gonna ask, um, I didn't download the cert, but that's fine. I could just proceed at my own uh, risk tolerance. Sweet. Okay, so now we're in the spun up Jupyter notebook. I'm gonna create a new folder and call this. Actually, they already have a workspace folder. Um, I'm just gonna rename this to. Sweet, at the top, it'll be easy to find. Um, then in here, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the relevant files. That is all these Python notebooks from the um, the Google, or rather the Llama walkthrough, as well as requirements.txt. So let's open all of these. Um, I also have to create a new folder called resources because um, some of these notebooks expect that to be there. Well, one could change them to auto create, but uh, it's just easier to do it this way. Uh, okay, now last but not least, we do need a terminal to run through some of these uh, manual commands and also to install the requirements.txt. So we're going to do, or rather, first we're going to cd app install.txt. I did not find that I had to pay attention to the fourth notebook's notes about the transform or downgrade. Didn't really end up making much of a difference. Um, okay, so that's good to go. Uh, now we need a few more things. Uh, let me pull this up. Uh, I found that I did need to install Charler and I did add this line. So I commented this out to get things working because the latest version of Python warnings is baked in. Uh, I did need pied up for some audio um, processing. And then I needed to install Parlor TTS and FFmpeg for the final um, few steps, the text-to-speech step, and then um, FFmpeg was used in the MP3 conversion step. While that's running, we'll get this one. And I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, it is Transformers uh, 446, whereas in the uh, little note, it's at 443 is what you need. I didn't seem to need that. <laughs> All right, once this is done, we will be able to kick off this process. Uh, right now we have uh, no lessons. Um, we don't have that PDF handy that we're going to process, so let's do that real quick. We're going to upload the, where is it, this PDF. Uh, let's see if this is done. It is cool. All right, we can get started. So notebook one, PDF pre-processing, um, we're using 32.3b for everything. Um, and these are already installed in the requirements file. Uh, just make sure that this name is correct. I don't remember if it is. Oh, no, it is not. Uh, copy pass. Sweet. Um, 3.23b inch truck. Save again. Um, okay. Let's do that. Now I'm just gonna shift return through the rest of this and it should work. 
Pistol. Nope, that's done. I did have to make some changes to some of these CUDA lines. I don't know if it was here or later, but some of them um, specified device numbers, whereas we're using a single GPU. Oh, we did forget a step. Um, you have to do again. Very CL on the log in. All right, so we've successfully logged in which means this step should work now. At this point, it might be best to um, skip towards the end of this because I'm effectively just going to be entering down the rest of this page. I'll show after the fact what the outputs were. I'll scroll down the page, but I'll be back because this might take a little while. All right, sweet. I ran through the rest of the process. Here we have um, step one completed where it loaded all the models, processed the uh, original PDF, split it up into chunks, and then ran through each of the chunks. And this is a preview of the final file. As you can see, it's not um, because the PDF, PDF has images and all sorts of like formatting stuff. The file output's not the cleanest, but when you get to the very end, because of uh, multiple layers you're going through, it eventually turns it into something um, coherent. So that was the first uh, notebook. And the second notebook, we start off with this prompt. Um, we're still using the 3B instruct. And in here we do most of our cleanup to uh, turn it into a proper podcast uh, script. Okay, here's a, a sample of the uh, output. Okay, and then three adds traumatization with like gasps and um, all those kinds of uh, inflections. Uh, again, spits out the uh, script. All right, and then last but not least, we go into the final workbook where we pull in Parler TTS and a Suno model to actually do the text to speech. Sometimes you'll see these warnings. Uh, in general, there's probably something you can do. This one, not so much, but these, um, in our case, yeah, it would require, I mean, this notebook's probably late or old, and we're using probably a newer version of PyTorch, and there's all sorts of um, things that have changed between when this was, I guess, written and what we're doing right now. But it didn't seem to affect the output too much. Um, I think we would see more significant changes by changing the model used versus um, any of these kinds of suggestions. Um, I introduced the speaker two description because I had some issues with the Suno um, model locally, but when I was running it on uh, shade form and vast, it ended up working perfectly fine. So uh, I just commented out that section. And that's also why in the podcast, you might hear a significant difference between the speakers because it is two different models and they're not really, um, yeah, they're not really talking to each other. So the differences could be significant based on, um, the, the way they interpret, I guess, the script. Whereas I think if you use two different speaker descriptions and the same, uh, TTS script, uh, sorry, GTS model, in this case, parlor, then you might get something that's a little bit more cohesive. Yeah, and then we transform it and then effectively spit out the final audio. And that's what you end up with at the very end in resources, this podcast at MP3. Um, so I'm going to package up these items and send them over as well as the final um, script. And that should be it for now. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see or anything you'd want me to dive into. Um, I think with these steps, with these finished um, or modified, slightly tweaked uh, Python notebooks, plus the steps for fast AI should be easily reproducible. And if one wanted to, you know, run the 70 billion parameter model or even the 400 billion parameter model, um, think 
you could do that. The larger models do sometimes require parallel GPUs, and that's kind of a little trickier. Um, but the interface for that here is somewhat um, accessible. It's just, uh, yeah, it would require a little bit more perhaps tweaking to get that working right. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can learn more by visiting vast.ai.